For the second match running injured as ruled out striker Emmanuel Lukia out of the 2015 Africa Cup of Nations qualifier. Okui, who missed the victory away to Mauritania, isn't among the 25 players Crane's coach Milton Mitchell Srodojic has summoned for next month his encounters away to Ghana and at home to Guinea. Also joining Okui at the fringes at the trial of Ismail Watenga, Martin Mutumba and Henry Kalunji, who are deemed surplus requirements because of their poor form. Today, FUFA revealed a build-up program for the double-header matches against Ghana and Guinea. The Cranes will start residential training on the 25th August. The training will run on for four days before Cranes enter residential training on the 29th August. Uganda will then play Niger in a friendly match on the 2nd September. Niger is also fine-tuning for the 2015 AFCON qualifier against Cape Verde. We have a million reasons to respect Ghana, but at least one, to not over-respect them. We need to have self-respect. Football is the game where it is 11 against 11 and it is more than them. For them it's usual to go to the big competitions. To us is dream to go to big competitions. Uganda Cranes face the Black Stars of Ghana on the 6th September on their first group E qualifier. Four days later they will play host to Guinea at Mandela National Stadium Nambole in a flood lit 7 p.m. match. A buzz is already being created for the home qualifier against Guinea. Today, FUFA revealed that fans buying open stand tickets that cost 20,000 shillings a piece stand a chance to win a car. But for those who will pay 20,000 to enter the stadium, now without any discount, will then be put in a raffle to win this particular car. Those who part with 120,000 shillings for a pavilion ticket could win a replica cranes jersey. FUFA has also opened up a shop that will be selling official cranes memorabilia. Togo are the other country pulled in Group E. Alfred Odong, NTV Sport.